Well, let's see the execution of both of these drafts. Once again, match point for Echo. Team Hawk, they need to pull out all the cards they have. Ladies and gentlemen, game number three of this best of five. Is this a lane swap? This is a lane swap. I see Claude on the top lane. And meanwhile, their EXP lane now is going to the goal lane for Team Hawk. This is the Malaysian swap we're talking about. TM! The Malaysian swap TM! And of course, uh, not to say where Yao is, but look, he's looking for uh, an early catch, and Min is doing just oh. Min things back, back to regular programming. It's also Valentina in the jungle, not the Akai Sakai mid. We saw this. Like Drian! Think, like Drian on eSports. They played this before. Akai mid, Valentina jungle. All right. Why, Dave? I mean, right now it's all about getting level four, right? Who gets a level four before the first hurdle is going to be have the upper hand. And sometimes you can see a Chao Selena combo just make sure more people get level four at the first hurdle. A Kai mid can do the exact same because he can push any jungler away and give your team the upper hand on getting the first hurdle. Min may have walked into an alley he cannot get out of, or can he? Oh, of course he can. Of course he can, <laughs> man. He did this it's, in the group stage. It's the Malaysian Hilda, right? They get out of any situation. Not in game one, though, right? Again, though, if you look at it, Team Hawk, Echo, this composition, Man's going to have a lot more of a good time here in the mid lane, just clearing out waves. And Man's going to actually get that level four a bit right. faster. Meanwhile, Lola going to be ganked by Benny and Yaoi. I personally don't like the lane swap here. It, it's not as effective as the previous lane swaps, specifically the ones we saw in the group stage, but more on that mid Akai. Uh, I like how this was both a... Oh, watch out. Oh, Lola's fine. It was more of a reparative move, if I'd say, a calibration, because look, there's not many ults that the Valentina can steal, right? Mm -hmm. So what you do with that uh, heavy spin is you help Come confirm joy. objectives. Uh-oh. Yeah. Look how deep Gary is. Oh, Sanford. Gary oh. needs to be very, very careful. The Metro 5 finds him, but Gary is going to be able to actually sidestep out of that one. Once again, jumping out. Heavy spin popped in. Two ultimates. Three. Count call TZ. And now ah. it's time for Team Hawk to use this resource advantage. But Yaoi is dealing so much damage onto Gary right now. Panda picks up the gold buff. Yaoi is going to be caught. Panda dealing out just a bit of damage, revealing them with a battle mirror image. And Echo are forced to back away. Panda still just trying to clear the wave. I mean, this is the even trade on skills, but look at Team Hawk pressuring Panda's lane, making sure he gets so much farmy. Here comes the dive. They're going on to Yaoi, and it's oh. a good, good targeting move by Team Hawk. First blood over to Team Hawk as Min is going to be targeted by Sanji, who rotates in, but he doesn't have the heavy spin to really punish the other members of Team Hawk. I just got to say this early on, right? Three minutes in, the absence of Benny Cutie, and of course, Carl Thiesi calling the shot. Well, maybe because you also haven't seen the full potential of Yaoi, is, is Echo lacking damage here? I mean, it seems like it on the other side, because Joy, really hard to kill. Kadida, really hard to catch. Hilda, how do you kill Hilda? Three by mid. It's impossible, right? I mean, yes, you're lacking damage. It's not really you're lacking damage. It's the other side are just way too tanky for you to do anything about that. Here oh, we go. Oh, <laughs> four man gank, three ultimates. Oh. Holy moly. It's a four min gank. Yeah, it's a four min gank. Okay, oh, I see what you did there. And I also see what Sanford is trying to do here with the Black Dragon form. He gets the Petrified down, man. He's going to be able to pop that rough waves. Gets all the HP back as Gary jumps back and forth. Looking for the Retribution as Sanford joins in with a Furious Dive. Lola going to be able to find a kill on the call TZ. Sanford Ooh. falling too. Team Hawk finds two on the board with the turtle as well. Lola flickering out, oh. Yaoi baited in. Gary looking for the kill, Yaoi gonna be taken down. Double kill for the man, Gary. That's a non-starter. Echo walked into a fight that they could have sworn they could win, but THQ said, Team Hawk says no, we'll take your lunch money and we'll ask for it again tomorrow. They want so much on the map and they're not done. They're not, this is a Malaysian style at a full display right here. Hilda trading four ultimates on the blue side jungle of Echo. At the same time, entire Hawk just started the turtle on command. You know, they know you don't have the ultimate, you don't have the skill necessary to contest this objective. They started it, and Echo, when they showed up, Team Hawk punished him and punished him properly. Here we go again. <laughs> oh my god. Two times now. There's so many ults used just to get him out of the way. He's such a nuisance in this game. And right now, I do feel like he's a bit more just reliable in this game compared to game one, even though Echo have drafted themselves 
a better early game comp. Yeah, Echo's really trying. And uh, again, despite this Natalia not dealing too much damage, Yaoi has hit a career milestone. The lover boy has dealt millions now in damage. But wow. wait, even Panda, they're, they're struggling to kill even just Panda. All right, I now I like it, right? At first, I was a bit, you know, I, I was doubting the lane swap because again, uh, Benny's gonna be able to find a lot of gold early on to scale onto those item power spikes. Thing is, it's not a full lane swap that they usually do. It's just to get Panda that level advantage to then come down towards the gold lane to win out of the lane and to actually bully the Beatrix. So it's an adaptive lane swap that's really good for Team Hawk. And also, Team Hawk's taking very, very smart and slow, right? They were on the bottom side farming the wave. He expected somebody to show up, right? Just use the Blazing Duet to get the wave, get the farm, and then dip, right? Get out of there. Here we go. The next turtle contest is live. Sanji trying to create an opening for his team as Lola does the same, zoning Sanji away. Gary is doing a lot right now, jumps in. That's gonna be Sanford with the Black Dragon form. Carl TZ with the Bravest Fighter, and that's Carl TZ winning on the Red Tree Battle with the Petrify. Fights two members. Lola gets a stun, oh. Matt gets the Rough Waves down. Oh. Matt's looking for more. Sanford's gonna be stunned up as Yaoi jumps in onto the mid lane. Sanji flickering out, hits the wall. Gary looking for it. Finds the killing spree, and the mid lane turret falls. It's a trade, but Lola in that gold lane now is still gonna be able to survive. Meanwhile, Min chasing Yaoi down will mean that Team Hawk will have all they can say on the mid lane tier one. That's a turtle for Echo, but they suffered so many losses. Uh, I can tell that Benny Cutie also had some hard decisions to make, and it ended up ki not killing or not that killing damage to anybody. Yeah, and now look at Yao getting the vision. There, it's it's more of a mental game right now on both sides, right? Who can outsmart each other? Because both sides, like, they don't have a set strategy, full on engage. It's like one at a time. They really have to play careful. Look, Panda shoved the lane and dip, but Yao is on the chase. Oh, and he finds the kill. Min tried his best to just give him vision there, but unfortunately, Echo, with that positioning, Onto the flanks, they were able to catch Panda off guard. All right, this could be, you know, a thousand mi times worse for Echo, given that this is a 2K lead for Hawk, and Echo is slowly putting some damage oh. on the board, but I don't think it's enough. Min? Sanji! Oh, no wall to pin Min down there. Nope. Yeah. Not a starter, still. Uh -oh. oh, here we go, though. The damage. They've all used it onto Min. Yaoi's chasing him down as Sanji is going to be able to actually disengage. Yaoi finds the assassination, but that's going to be Man finding the Petrify. Carl TZ taking low. Lola jumping with the Bravest Fighter, and that's going to be Man actually baited in. Benny finds the kill with the Wesker, a weapon we haven't seen in a long time. Lola getting knocked up. That's the damage coming through. Benny with the Renner is absolutely massive. Is that going to be Panda terrified? Gary jumping into the back line right now. He's almost finding the kill. Benny swaps Lola. back into the Wesker. Yaoi, Yaoi jumping into the silence on that Natalia. Not dealing enough damage to take Panda down. Team Hawk, last game they were rushing it a little bit and this game they're doing the exact same thing. They were finding the dive they should not have and you can see Yaoi is playing the, the smart game, the brain game, right? She's getting the vision on the blue side jungle of Team Hawk and once he realized where Panda was, he finally killed onto Panda and then he flanked, finally killed onto Min. It is one at a time, very strategic move coming out from Yaoi. I mean, say what you will about the whole Roamer getting all the kills situation, <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do to help Echo bounce back, right? I and agree. shut down who you need to shut down for Team Hawk. And they're making pushes, and look, here's a heavy spin out. Yo, Echo oh. knows that they're still out of their breath. Hawk is going to get this clean. It's a good, good execution here in terms of how to control the neutral objective by Team Hawk. But it's also a very good response by Echo. They, like you said, they know that they cannot take this fight. They will lose straight out on the 5v5. So they instead rotate Yaoi over to pick up a trade. It's not a worth the trade, but that's what they can get right now. But look at Benny's farm though. He's getting there, right? He's about to build a, build a Karuna size into the Golden Staff. Once he gets those items, Hilda's not gonna survive very quickly. He already finished the core damage items, make sure all the skill is gonna do damage no matter who it comes. And now it's about shredding the tanks. But here comes the defense, I mean, this Benny, can he hold the Lord? I think it's gonna be pretty easy with the SMG. We'll see, right? With the Bennett, it's even faster. So he oh, uses no. the ultimate, but Team Hawk are still gonna be able to use a second wave and even just a hand wave from the previous minion. Tier two, number one, taken down in the top side. Mid lane to be taken down too, as the bottom lane too. This is just very good micro from Yowie. Team Hawk to control. This side as man jumps in, finds oh! the pick off the Sanford. 
Panda with BMI, Gary to be pinned down, it's that's Sanji just wreaking havoc, but Gary does the same thing, dodging away from the CC, dealing damage while he's at it, a one for one, and Sanford and Man get taken out, but it's still Team Hawk who find the face turret and find the better value. I mean, this is very, very exciting what Team Hawk does. They know Yao is looking for the flank, the back line. So what did it do? The ultimate bonding experience, right? The group does make sure you can't do anything at all. At the same time, Panda's a little bit tanky, as I mentioned earlier. He built a little bit of defense item to make sure he doesn't get one-shotted. As long as this guy stays alive for actual one second, that will help. And here comes the damage! Oh! Whoa! What a combination! With the Renner shot and the assassination, now it's gonna be Lola who's gonna be caught. Yaoi jumps in again, and Sanford is the one who picks up the kill. On top of nothing, Echo were able to find a pick. There's still some punishment from Echo because Team Hawk stayed a little longer than they should have. Should have been happy with that mid lane inhibitor push with that Lord. One try, one go, success but they stayed, and I think the vision that the lover boy Yaoi, provided was super instrumental to get this done. Now, oh. talking about the oh. Echo situation, mm, heavy spin away, I gotta say, they can't, they can't win on conventional terms. They always have to win team fights, because their lineup almost has zero wave management. Like, they have to win what? fights. Oh, here, oh, man! Oh, I thought Beatrix's Renner was nerfed. Look at the damage he did to man, what? It's an 11 minute, uh, almost three core item Beatrix. True. That's what, that's what it does. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage, right? It just feels like the old Beatrix there with the Renner shot. Yeah, I mean, how what now? Uh, a Roar and uh, Blade of Spare, right? Yes. It's almost everything you need. And Malifa Roar plus Blade of Spare, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Plus, man is going full damage, right? They, like this guy, it, the good thing about it, even though he took a lot of damage, he can recover with the passive really quickly. You know, so he's back to full HP again, and this time, Hack, I think if they want to win this game, they have to just play careful. Every time they play sloppy, they get punished really heavily. And here we go, they're going for the Lord. The very, very steady, steady gameplay coming out from Team Hack. This might as well be what they needed to win the game. Retri comes in, Lola, Lola. jumps in with the Bravest Fighter now. Again, zoning Echo away, and Echo just did not have anything to respond to that Lord play. It's another Lord, but unfortunately for Team Hawk, it's not the Enhanced Lord just yet. Yep, they, they, they killed the Lord a little too quick. But then again, a free objective will take it. Enhancer minions, force a push. And again, I think the reasons why they did that is because Echo, as mentioned earlier, has really bad wave clear. So force the yep. issue, keep going. Look at Yaoi, just on the side. He's trying to camp, but again, the UV is too strong, right? I mean, like the ultimate bonding experience on the top side now, they're gonna get a free tower. At this point, the Lord Wave is more valuable than the Lord itself. You know, they're pushing the tower for free. More than just for free, they pick up a kill as well, and it's Sanji who falls on the Akai pick in the mid lane. Now let's talk a little bit about that, right? It was a risky move by Echo to go for the Akai in mid, and instead flex the Valentina over in the jungle. What do you think they have to do now with this composition? I mean, at this point, it's really have to capitalize on more misplay or the sloppiness from Hawk. Because this is a Hawk's game to lose at this point. Thinking about Whoa. 3,000 go to head. Here it comes. Sanford getting the pitch fight down onto man. Now still getting back to HP. Yaoi oh. absolutely assassinates the mid laner, but Panda shuts him down. That's some more gold onto Panda that you do not want on him for Echo right now with the loss of your roamer that can flank and give you vision. Team Hawk will be able to actually siege that base to redound. Panda jumps back to his BMI and Team Hawk are just playing it disciplinedly. From worst to bad to not so bad to just no base turrets left. <laughs> the situation for Echo has to have some rubber band and I just can't put my finger on it. You were asking about if the mid Akai was a little too risky. If I remember correctly, that MPLI mid Akai on Drian was a snowball lineup. I don't see any snowball from Echo right here right now, 14 minutes in. Yeah, absolutely. It's a reverse snowball actually, you know, with the, all the vision coming out from Hilda. Natala, even though he's finally he's trying to do the best he can from Yao's perspective, but the team is just not able to follow up with damage because you have a Hilda on their entire team's base, absolutely unkillable. So it's again, at this point, it, you can see the Team Hawk is being very disciplined, sinking the wave, actually not pushing the wave at all, just slowly but surely making sure the waves push down uh, to their side so Echo doesn't find any farm. Maintain their goal lead and wait for the next war. But here Whoa. comes the punishment from Yaoi. That's a lot of damage, my dude. And Yaoi just deleted, man. No one's going to be able to find him too right now. 
Wow. That's the lover boy for you. That's the lover boy. And it's going to hit critical mass exactly what this Natalia can do at this point in the game. Approaching 15 minutes. Absolutely. It's At this point, Agro's win condition is either Hawk's mistake or Yaoi finding the flank. And speaking of flank, here it comes again. Uh-oh, man. Popping a sprint. Going to be actually pinned down, but the damage isn't enough just yet. Enjoy. Gary leaving to collapse. Benny flickering forward, Whoa! finding the kill, but using his resource. Now, it's an all-out fight from everywhere. Benny's still in the bush, dealing a lot of damage. Gary going to be melted down, but in the back line, look at Carl TZ, who's going to be taken down. Panda with the mid nature, and the blazing duet of Play Sanford. Picking up a Yowie! final kill for Gary. Oh! Yeah, oh! Get oh! the minion! What? The creep! And that is a mistake you do not want to see because Team Hawk run wild on Echo. Sanji losing immortality. Lola and Gary dealing damage enough Four to down. pick up the unstoppable. The minion waves are still coming down. Can Team Hawk end? It's just Benny. It's just Benny. It's about 10, 12 seconds before anyone else from Echo comes back. Could this be the beginning of a reverse yes. sweep? Benny once again trying to stun, but it oh! is going to be Mon who deletes him off. Team Hawk, they were pushed to the edge, but they have come back. It's two to one. Team Hawk have done it. Yeah, Bombay, Team Hawk back on the board. Two to one. It's not over yet.